When it was announced that NFL player Trayvon Diggs and dancer Joy Chavez were expecting a baby, many people took to social media to weigh in on the situation. Today, we'll discuss some of the main reasons this tomfoolery has disaster written all over it. Before Bow Wow comes up in here and tells us to suck his little shrimp. No, thank you. I'm allergic. (laughs) Don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, blue raspberry licorice, and gummy sour peach rings. The haters gonna miss out on them sour peach rings because they be fast forwarding through this part, but that's okay, besties. We know what to put in our margaritas, don't we? (laughs) Ew. One of the main issues people have with this situation is that Joy was 33 when they started dating in 2022 and Trayvon was 23. Although their age gap isn't as big as the age difference between Drea Michelle and her new victim, oops, <laughs> we mean her new boyfriend, Jalen Green, people still have an issue with the idea that Joy was chasing after a young athlete. What people fail to realize is that they're both grown and surely they can deal with the consequences of their actions. And besides, it's not like Trayvon is some innocent, wet-behind-the-ears young man with no life experience. At the time he and Joy started dating, he was already the father of two children by two women. Oh, he was just sticking it everywhere, huh? We'll get into that hot, stankin' mess surrounding him and one of his children's mothers in a bit. While Trayvon was already a father of two when they met, Joy was a mother of two children by two men. She welcomed her daughter Shy Moss with Bow Wow in 2011. Then she welcomed her son Hendrix with the rapper Future in 2018. Now, let's break this family tree down a little further, shall we? Yes, we shall. By the time her new bundle of joy arrives, not only will Joy be a mother of three children by three men, but her new baby will also have a bunch of half-siblings. And for those of y'all who want to tussle in the comments because you hate the term half-sibling, if you don't have the same mama and the same daddy, you're half-siblings, period, poo. (laughs) Period. That's the way they all became the ghetto bunch. The ghetto bunch. The ghetto bunch. That's the way they became the ghetto bunch. (laughs) Unless these men decide to get snip snipped expeditiously, the number of children in this orbit will surely increase throughout the years. Get snipped, ninjas. Now, why would an adult knowingly inject themselves into this kind of tomfoolery? Well, we don't have the answer. And besides, we're more worried about the children. Here at RRG, we're more than just gossip. We sometimes like to add research and statistics into our videos so our besties can obtain factual information about the hot, stankin' mess topics we discuss. In the case of Joy and Trayvon bringing another child into this tangled web of baby pappies and baby mammies, let's examine a study conducted by the University of Wisconsin sociologists Marsha Carlson and Frank Furstenberg. The researchers looked into the occurrences of multiple partner fertility, better known as MPF. MPF describes a person who has biological children with more than one partner. MPF is more common among low-income and less educated people, black, non-Hispanic men and women, parents who grew up in single-parent families, and fathers who have been incarcerated. An extensive body of research has also linked MPF with negative child well-being, as it has the ability to diminish a parent's ability to be a good parent. When a parent's attention is spread across multiple children conceived with multiple people, mothers tend to be more stressed and prone to depression. Having to co-parent and dealing with the other parent's new love interests can also cause a lot of unnecessary issues. Author Cassandra Logan conducted a study and determined men who father children with more than one woman find it difficult to balance financial, social, and emotional responsibilities. A U.S. study found that children who live with half-siblings tend to have more frequent behavioral problems compared to children who live in a household where they all have both parents in common. This could be due to experiencing their parents' relationship changes. Children in these situations sometimes see men and women coming in and out of their lives, unstable relationships, and more frequent residential moves that require the children to be uprooted and adjust to new surroundings and new schools. At this point, all we can do is pray for the babies. 
It has long been rumored that Joy has an interesting personality. Young Bird, also known as Hitmaker, signed on to appear on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, which premiered on VH1 in 2014. At the time, he was dating Joy, and the show filmed some scenes with them as a couple. He later told the Jasmine brand that Joy was fired from the show because she was too boring. Based on his statement, you would think that Joy is low-key and unproblematic. But according to some people in the industry, she's messy as hell behind the scenes. Lord, here we go. Here we go. When her daughter's father, Bow Wow, was engaged to Erica Mena, Erica accused Joy of creating havoc in their relationship. After Erica and Bow Wow ended their engagement in 2016, Erica blamed Joy for ruining their relationship. Erica took to her Instagram to explain that Joy always wanted to be the one in Bow Wow's life, and even having a baby with him didn't put Joy in Bow's top spot. Erica went on to allege that jealousy caused Joy to use her daughter as a pawn. Erica added, plays innocent so well to the public, but really is the biggest mess of us all. I had to deal with stalking and nonstop late night texts from her begging Bow Wow to leave me as we laid in bed together. Now, considering the source, many people didn't believe a word that was coming out of Erica's mouth. But then Bow Wow entered the chat. In an interview with Vlad TV, Bow Wow admitted it was difficult seeing Joy beefing with Erica. Because of the women's issues, Joy didn't want her daughter to be around Erica. And that's when Bow Wow had to put his foot down. Put that little foot down. Put it down. (laughs) He said, for me, I'm not choosing nothing over my baby. And there were times where I felt like I was in the corner and I had to choose. And that shit didn't feel good with me. So Joy was allegedly successful in playing her part to bring that relationship to an end. Joy would later appear on Growing Up Hip Hop alongside Bow Wow, and they failed to reconcile their relationship several times. Let it go, girl. Then came 2017. Joy was one of Future's backup dancers, and by September 2017, there were rumors that Future was smashing her jiggly cheeks to smithereens. That sound fun as hell. When the news hit the web, people couldn't help but wonder if Joy had an obsession with Sierra, since Sierra also dated Bow Wow and Future before Joy sank her claws into them. By July 2018, all hell broke loose. It's finna get messy, ain't it? A blogger leaked DMs that they allegedly received from Joy. In the messages, Joy attempted to coordinate for the blog to post footage from her New Year's celebration with Future. She also stated that once the footage hit the internet, she would claim that her iCloud was hacked. With her lying ass. Joy then allegedly told the blogger all the little details about her and Future's relationship. She allegedly insisted that she was the woman Future loved and that he wasn't interested in the other bimbos in his life, like a woman named Brittany, whom he shares two children with. Joy then allegedly went on to explain she and Future were planning to have a baby, and she called his other children disgusting mistake kids. Oh, hell no. When the messages hit the internet, Joy took to her Instagram to call the DMs fake. She also said someone was trying to destroy and demean her character. She added, that post is nasty, and anyone who knows me very well knows I would never do no goofy shit like that. I don't even speak that way, nor am I that type of girl. Girl, shut your lying ass up. You exactly that type of girl. From there, Future got back with Britney, and Joy announced her pregnancy in June 2018. Two months later, the ish hit the fan. Again? Britney released audio of Future explaining how he and Joy had always been friends, and he didn't love her the way he loved Britney. I don't look at Joy as somebody like I look, look at you. Joy with me and Joy always been friends, super cool. Like, people don't even know that me and her was just always been super cool to the point where we still could be cool right now. To, I don't look at her like something I love. I never loved her like that. She know that I never loved her. I never been like, told her, I love you. You know what I'm saying? I never told this girl, I never told Joy I love you, but we had a good ass friendship. Either way, Joy gave birth to their son, Hendrix, in December 2018. In September 2021, she flew to Italy for a project she was working on with Diddy. They were spotted tonguing each other down on a yacht. I guess it was project swapping spit she was working on. (laughs) What made the situation even messier is that Diddy was in some kind of situationship with young Miami of City Girls at the time. And he was also Bow Wow's boss. Wait a minute now. What the brakes, child? Hold up now. Come again. Most people are unaware that Bow Wow has been signed to Diddy's Bad Boy Records since 2015. 
Once the images hit the internet, Young Miami unfollowed Joy on Instagram, and Bow Wow said he had a conversation with Diddy about breaking the code of conduct. Now, I know y'all saw that last video we did on Diddy. Diddy ain't got no damn code of conduct or morality. <laughs> Allegedly. Joy didn't address the situation until months later. She said in the midst of their business trip, they shared a kiss. She said she had her own room the entire time, and Diddy was respectful to her as a friend. She added, the kiss shouldn't have happened, but it did, and there's nothing I can do about it. You could have kept your filthy lips to yourself, the ones on top and the ones down below. <laughs> That's what you could have done with your nasty ass. Joy went on to say that Young Miami knew about the project because she mentioned it to her. However, Joy claimed she didn't know the details about Diddy and Young Miami's situation because she doesn't keep track of who's dealing with whom. So why did you tell her about the trip if you didn't know that she was dealing with it? Quit your lying ass. As for Trayvon, he welcomed his son Aiden in November 2016 when he was an 18-year-old college student at the University of Alabama. His son's mother goes by the name Sierra Danielle on Instagram. Yeah, she thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. In 2020, he was selected by the Dallas Cowboys in the second round of the NFL draft. Meanwhile, Instagram influencer Yasmin Lopez posted a photo of herself and Trey Songs in their bedroom attire in February 2021. And in case you're wondering, Joy also dated Trey sometime around 2009. Ooh, besties. They just be passing their fish tacos and sausage rockets back and forth to this person and that person and over here and over there. Loud. At the time Yasmin and Trey took that steamy photo, Yasmin was already pregnant. She gave birth to a child named Chosen in August 2021. And Trayvon is the baby's daddy. Yeah, I know you lie. In the spring of 2022, Yasmin showed love to Joy by promoting some of her fitness products on Instagram. Joy even offered to send Yasmin some free products. Based on the DMs captured by the Neighborhood Talk blog, Yasmin and Joy had a cordial social media friendship. Trayvon helped Joy celebrate her 34th birthday on September 27th, 2022. A damn Libra, sis. I knew it. I can smell the Libra all over her. When word got back to Yasmin, homegirl was hotter than fish grease. Yasmin noticed that Joy left a comment on her friend's Instagram photos, and Yasmin replied to Joy by saying, You weird as f LOL. Under my friend's pics, but f***ing with my baby daddy. Weirdo. So, despite being cordial with Yasmin on social media, it's apparent that these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> As of this video, Joy and Trayvon have had a bumpy relationship full of makeups, two breakups, in between taking vacations to exotic locations, getting tattoos of each other's names, and Trayvon surprising her with expensive gifts, they've unfollowed and refollowed each other on social media more times than we can count. Days after her former friend Drea announced her pregnancy, Joy took to Instagram on March 14th, 2024 to show off her baby bump. Two weeks later, she announced she was having a baby girl. While Drea's announcement mentioned that she and Jalen are happy about their new arrival, Joy was solo dolo for her pregnancy announcement and gender reveal. Child daddy gone already. Based on her and Trayvon's on-again, off-again relationship, we're unsure of the current status of their relationship. Yeah, it's given off again. <laughs> Off, definitely off. Everyone from celebrities to social media users have clowned Trayvon for getting Joy pregnant. During an episode of It Is What It Is, Cameron called Trayvon and other men in the industry out for passing the same girls around. <laughs> I ain't into that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once you got Bow Wow and Future, and you don't know who she dated, this is just the babies. I can't get with that publicly on that level. Apparently, that sent Trayvon over the edge. In a series of tweets, he didn't express any excitement about welcoming his third child, nor did he directly defend Joy. Instead, he poked fun at Cameron's age by writing, I was five when you was rapping. Ain't no way you speaking on me right now. Young Ninja, how you gonna clown somebody for being older than you? Not only do you suck at pulling out, but you suck at clapping back, too. <laughs> As for Joy, she must have gotten tired of all the negative comments that were flooding her Instagram. Underneath the post of her gender reveal, she left this comment. I wouldn't trade lives with any of you, even if my life depended on it. 
Well, bitch, that make two of us. We don't want your life either. Hell. In another comment, she explained that she's not perfect and at least she can take care of her kids on her own. Because Trayvon signed a five-year, $97 million deal with the Cowboys and her two other children's fathers are famous men, a lot of people think Joy is using her uterus as a piggy bank. But she has made it very clear over the years that she doesn't receive a dime in child support from any of her children's fathers. RRG can also confirm that she doesn't have any open child support cases in the state of California. So if it isn't about the money, then what's the real reason she puts herself into these situations and continues having children with men she's in situationships with? Does she think having a child will make them want to settle down and put a ring on it? Is she a bird? Because she's sounding like a bird. (laughs) We might never know the reason. So maybe it's best for us to just mind our business and wish all the parties involved nothing but the best. So you're just going to drag them the whole video and then wish them the best. (laughs) Y'all so messy, and I love it. (laughs) 